Welcome to Youth Potential, a show where I give advice and support on self-harm, depression, suicide, low confidence, and personal progress and achievement. Representing Youth Potential. Um, Today I just wanted to talk about a news article that I read recently. Um, unfortunately, I have been unable to find the article again, and I should have saved it so that I could uh, put a link below for you guys to have read. Basically, um, this article outlined, and I'm referring to the UK now, uh, outlined that young people, obviously teenagers, children, adolescents, that kind of thing, um, they are making suicide attempts to, uh, sorry, committing suicide attempts to be seen quicker by uh, mental health specialists. Now, this doesn't surprise me in the slightest. It's It's been going on for quite some time, actually. Although the, the news report was um, in the end of May, I believe, it's been going on for quite some time now. And this dates back to the times when I was self-harming, which was, you know, around almost uh, between seven and 10 years ago. Um, it's because the, the mental health services are limited and they are, overrun with um with patients with young people that are and older people obviously that are going through all these problems and i completely understand why that unless a young person makes um a suicide attempt or has uh, you know threats of suicide su suicidal behavior that they're not seeing people as quickly now i'm no expert but even back in the day when I was, you know, between the age of 15 and 20, and I was self-harming, suffering depression, had some, su uh, made some suicide attempts, that kind of thing. Even back then, they were backlogged with so many people on a waiting list. Now, um, someone that I know that deals with the mental health services, um, she's told me that they are absolutely, you know, their waiting list just gets longer and longer and longer because um, organisations like CAMS, um, so services like CAMS just don't have the resource, they don't have the manpower, they don't have the time to be able to deal with everybody in a short space of time. You know, if, even the health services in general don't even have enough uh, resources and manpower and, and time to deal with everyone quickly. That's why so many appointments are just a, a very far in a distance when you book them. Um, so what I'm trying to, the, the, the thing I'm trying to, trying to say here is that, uh, yes, of course it is it's horrible. When you feel, you know, when you feel low, you want to be seen by someone really quickly. And when these uh, these health services uh, can't provide that help uh, to you in an instant, it's you know it's disheartening. It's like what what am I supposed to do with my life? Just suffer until months or years when uh, before I can be seen. You know what what do I do in the meantime? Um, I do have sympathy for uh, services like CAMS and that because they you know they they do try really hard, but they are so overrun. They don't have enough manpower, and I'm hoping that. Today, with the amount of people that suffer with mental health issues, there are going to be loads of people looking at that and thinking, you know, that they that their their goal is going to be to become someone who can work in mental health services in the future. So, you know, 10, 10 years down the line or whatever, we're going to have a, a massive, uh, a lot more people working in mental health services so that 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 service can be provided for for lots more patients and people that struggle with with their emotions and mental health. Um, but in the meantime, you know, what, what is there to do? What, what, if you're someone who's watching this and you're struggling with things like depression, low self-esteem, you're self-harming, you, you feel like committing suicide. Obviously I've been there. I know how shit that feels. Um, what can you do in the meantime? Uh, if you can't get help, if you can't get help from the mental health services, it's a good question. Um, what I would suggest at first is obviously speaking out, you know, talking to the people that you really that are really close to that you believe that are loyal um people that generally care about you that you know that love you and care about you you know like you're really your your, your best friend or your mum or your dad or maybe it's someone else in the family maybe it's uh, your school teacher maybe it's um uh your college tutor you know there's i'm sure you've got that one person person that you feel that you can open up to about everything um they are the people that you need to speak to. And even if they can't give you any ideas as to how to move forward um, in terms of your mental health or how to cope with it, even, you know, it's important that you just 
that you speak up and these people these people are going to listen to you and they really care about you you know and we all need an ear to speak to um just to get it out because if you bottle it up it's just going to build up and up and up and the pressure is going to rise and eventually it's just going to burst because you are not strong enough to hold all of your unpleasant emotions in no one is strong enough okay and it's a horrible feeling but you have to just you know treat yourself like a little valve you know just let it out a little bit every now and then and just make it a little bit easier okay um also not only that you need to surround yourself with as much uh, um positive media is the way i'm gonna look at it so whether it's watching films that make you laugh whether it's watching films that inspire you i know the shawshank redemption inspires me every single time i watch it um, listening to music that makes you feel really good about yourself, don't listen to music that brings you down. I've been there, I've tried listening to all the, the depressing music, it's not good. Listening to the happy music, the really upbeat music, the even the angry music um, can make you feel good about yourself because it just helps release uh, those those emotions. Um, also, uh, books of, of that nature, TV shows of that kind of nature as well, you need to do it. And of course you need to surround yourself with people that are feeling good about themselves that can have that effect rub off on you, okay? And you really, you really need that, okay? You need to be able to express yourself as well. You need to, um, writing and drawing, painting, all the artistic um, kind of things, they are so important, okay? Just do that as much as you can. Even if you just need to scribble out on a piece of paper, just just do it. Um, go, go online and try and get support from there. Uh, there's loads of websites. I have one, um, the, the, the URL is gonna be below, okay? I've, made a really good website dedicated to helping young people that self-harm um, and not only that there are obviously loads of uh, t there are telephone services that you can call Samaritans are absolutely fantastic if you're living in the UK I know for a fact there's more elsewhere in other countries so make sure that you google them as well and finally just do stupid little things that just make you feel good about yourself okay and a really good one that I've been trying to do a lot of recently is making a to-do list just free free items free things that you need to do that you uh, that you really need to do that are going to make just they might seem like little things, but they're going to make a big difference to your day, okay? So write those things down, whether it's tidying your bedroom or learning something new or doing some research. Doing 10 minutes of meditation is a fantastic one. You know, close your eyes, visualize the life that you want, where you want to go. And it has a really good way of um, unlocking answers in, in your own head to the questions that you have about yourself. So yeah, there's just some things that you can do in the meantime while you're on the waiting list, so to speak, for, for those services. Um, and always, guys, please, if you have any questions, follow my Instagram and uh, DM me. I, I would love to be uh, some kind of service to help you guys out. I have loads of people messaging me on a regular basis, and it's hard to keep on top of it, but I promise I will get back to you. Anyway, guys, all the best. Share your ideas below for uh, helping people out, okay? Take care. Bye.